Legion premiered on FX this week. What's our verdict of this first episode? We don't actually have one. I was really highly anticipating the premiere of Legion because it comes from creator Noah Hawley. Now Noah Hawley does the Fargo series on FX and it's a really great show. Then I found something else about Legion. Marvel's also involved because David in Legion is a mutant. When I heard this I became a bit discouraged about the show. If you watch the G-Spot entry, G-Secret, I go through in detail there as to why I'm kind of sick of superheroes and burnt out on them. Still, because I think so much of Noah Hawley as a creator, writer, director, I checked Legion out. I really did enjoy the majority of the episode. I loved how it was non-linear. There was a lot in the show that was quite original. One example is in the dream sequences, there's constant repetition. Repetition of David's name, repetition of a question from the counselor. It reminded me of a hypnotist. It was interesting, a show being about the mind, they're presenting pieces of it in a hypnotic fashion, like you, the audience, are being hypnotized. Because if you were being hypnotized to believe anything that, you know, the hypnotist wanted you to believe, it would be in this very calm drawn voice and through constant repetition. And also the flashiness of the cuts in those scenes adds to this type of hypnotic trance. So that was really cool. I really enjoyed it. It definitely added an original aspect to the show that you don't see in other shows. I like the topic of the show, that the show is about the mind. The human mind is fascinating, right? And one of the things that we love to think about, talk about with the human mind is capabilities that our mind has, but we can't seem to utilize. And so we see these characters have the ability to utilize that, and that excites us because we all want to be so powerful and use our minds to their full ability, right? That type of plot line does interest me, so that was pulling me along. The interesting thing about our minds and this thought that we have unlimited potential in our minds if we could just figure out how to use it is that we will never be able to use the complete capacity of our minds. Our minds are limited to the physical four-dimensional world we live in and they do have capabilities beyond our imagination but those capabilities cannot be translated into our four-dimensional physical world. Our mind is very specifically designed to allow us to exist in this physical world. It's like 50% of its job because this world is only one reality that exists. There's realities beyond our physical world that are right in front of us right now. If we had the full capability of our minds, these worlds that we can't see would be unmasked. And quite frankly, we would not be able to deal with it. We would mentally break down, much in the same way that we see David going insane from the power that his mind has, we literally would go insane. So it is an interesting topic. We all want to be super powerful and use our minds to the fullest extent, but it's never going to happen. Still, an entertaining storyline for a show. The other thing that I really enjoyed about Legion was the love story. Basically, two complete misfits who find the person that they that they fit with. And that's a great love story, right? We all feel like misfits, and whether we admit it or not, that's what we all want to do is find that one misfit who truly understands us and who we understand. So those are three positive things about the show. Four, if you include Noah Hawley. So three or four really positive things about the show. So why am I reluctant to give it a positive review? Well, because of the last two minutes. In the last two minutes, we got a very typical superhero fight scene with people running through bullets, waving their hands and wishing people through the air. And it was all very boring and frustrating. So I really don't know what I think of Legion yet. And it is going to depend on how much of this bullshit superhero battle scenes we have to suffer through to get some good storyline out of the show. I will definitely check out the second and third episode. I'm definitely going to give it a chance because like I said, I think a lot of Noah Hawley, but not really sure if Legion is going to make it.